guys, it's Julia and for today's video I'm going to be doing a review and, and today I'm going to be reviewing If You Dare by A.R. Tour. This is the third book in the Girl in 6 E series. The latest installment up to date right now and the author says that she can write three more books in this series but we'll see what happens and they're definitely, if there is more, they're definitely not going to come out for another year or two but I'm going to be talking about this book. I haven't done reviews for the first two books but I've talked about them a lot on my channel. Basically the first book is about a girl who does not leave her apartment because of her homicidal tendencies technically and it's all about her and she has rules for herself and these are erotic thrillers and they are obviously classified as adults so again if you can't deal with, with swearing or sexual content then you probably won't enjoy these but these are really interesting books. The first two were pretty good in my opinion but today we're going to be talking about the third book and what I thought of it and this is spoiler free so you can stay stick around if you haven't read it so yeah the third book was the most disappointing one for me in my opinion it was the beginning this in this book we go none of the other books do this but in this one we go from past to present and it's really confusing how they do it I do not think they should have done it in this format and the other books weren't like this and it was really annoying because like you think when they label it past and then present like it won't get confusing but they will go past and then next chapter they'll put past and then present and then past and I'm like what's happening and it, they were really hard to distinguish like if those titles weren't there they were really hard to disting distinguish and they felt the same and it just didn't work well at all basically all the all the things that go down in this book are very different from the other two and the first two books follow kind of the same plot line and they kind of follow the same kind of thing going on like sessions with clients client goes nuts client tries to do stuff she gets into chaos and then stuff goes down and these this book did not follow that which is kind of good because it would be kind of annoying if the first three books followed the same exact kind of plot but this book just felt really weird and there wasn't much of characters that I wanted to see personally and it was just really odd but I will admit like the ending was pretty good I'm really I really liked the ending I really like how they kind of put this last book together but the, mo the majority of this book I didn't really like which is unfortunate it still was a fast read but at the same time it was like, ugh, like what's happening but it was these are very quick reads and I definitely recommend the first two absolutely and if you like the first two enough yeah I'll probably continue I will still pick up the next book just my expectations are very low at this point for the next book we will see what happens. Definitely think the messages that were portrayed at the end went really well and it was kind of what I was looking for throughout this series so I'm glad what happened at the ending. Sorry for the camera adjustment but I do hope you enjoyed this review of If You Dare. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and everything down below and if you've enjoyed the first, second, or if you read the third book let me know your thoughts down below. Just keep spoilers out of the comments for other people's sake but yes let me know what you thought. I'd love to hear your thoughts and as per usual I will see you guys next time with a new video. Bye!